Have you ever imagined creating an invention that, according to rumors, was forgotten by none other than Nikola Tesla? Well, today, we are going to delve into a fascinating project that few people know about, but that can broaden your horizons regarding the world of electromagnetic experiments. Gather the essential materials, a stainless steel sieve, a magnetic magnet of respectable dimensions, 102 by 56 by 14 millimeters, and an enameled copper wire of the solderable type recommended to withstand temperatures of up to 155 degrees. This is the same wire used in the manufacture of transformers, motors, ignition coils, and small Arduino projects. For this experiment, approximately one meter of wire is sufficient. And let us know in the comments which city and country you are watching from. It's always amazing to know where our viewers come from and how our content reaches different parts of the world. Your participation is very important to us, so be sure to share this information. This way, we create an even more connected and diverse community. Write your city and country below, and we'll find out how far this message can reach. The first step is to attach the magnet to the rim of the stainless steel sieve. To ensure a firm and long-lasting hold, use a hot glue stick, applying it generously to the base of the sieve and pressing it against the magnet, always centering it so that it is aligned with the diameter of the sieve. Wait a few moments until the glue cools and the magnet is firmly attached. Next, take the end of the enameled copper wire and carefully start wrapping it around the sieve and magnet. The procedure is very similar to tying something together. Pass the wire precisely through the gaps in the sieve, making firm turns but without applying excessive force so as not to deform the wire or damage the structure of the sieve. It is essential to maintain a very uniform distribution of the turns, ensuring that the entire assembly is aligned and well-organized. Always wrap both the metal ring of the sieve and the magnet. Make at least 10 turns, covering approximately half the circumference of the sieve and magnet, to ensure an efficient, stable fastening that provides adequate electrical conduction, in addition to improving the efficiency of the device being assembled. Repeat this process on the other side. In other words, on the opposite half of the sieve, carefully wrap the copper wire around the wire, always passing it through the small holes, as if you were sewing by hand, and keeping the wire tension constant so that all the coils are well aligned, firm, and organized. It is essential to ensure that the coils are evenly distributed, without overlapping or gaps, to obtain better performance. At the end of this process, you will have wrapped it around 21 times in total, creating a kind of well-defined coil around the magnet and the stainless steel ring of the sieve. Once all the turns are complete, it's time to prepare the ends of the enameled copper wire for electrical connection. To do this, heat the ends of the wire with a lighter or soldering iron, removing the protective layer of enamel. This will ensure good electrical conduction when you connect the device to the other parts of the project. Now get ready for the next step turning this arrangement into part of a signal reception or transmission system. To do this, you will need a telescopic antenna, like the ones that come with old portable radios. Remove the antenna from the radio by unscrewing its base and separating it from the rest of the device. The goal is to take advantage of the signal reception capacity of this antenna by integrating it into your device. In addition to the antenna, separate a coaxial connector for splice. Use wet sandpaper, it can be 60, 80, or 100 grit, to wear down one end of the connector until you reach the central core. This core is essential to ensure electrical continuity between the antenna and the rest of the circuit. After sanding, it will be easy to access the connector core. If this content is useful, interesting, or in some way helping you learn and understand better, take advantage of this moment and like the video. This is extremely important and makes all the difference for the channel to continue growing, bringing more content like this, full of tips, tutorials, and valuable information for you. Fit the antenna base onto the sanded end of the coaxial connector. To permanently attach the antenna to the connector, 
apply solder flux to the contact area, ensuring a firm, stable, secure, and high-quality connection. And with the hot soldering iron, deposit tin until the two parts join. The molten tin will create a solid and efficient connection, allowing signals to travel between the antenna and the rest of the device. Now, return to the stainless steel sieve already equipped with the magnet and the coiled copper wire. Mark the center of the sieve and, using a drill equipped with a stepped bit, make a hole whose diameter corresponds to that of the coaxial connector. This hole will be used to attach the connector and consequently the antenna to the center of the sieve. It's time to prepare the coaxial cable, which is responsible for carrying the signal from the antenna to the television. Set aside a cable of approximately two meters, enough to ensure mobility and practicality during installation. Using an appropriate cutting tool, carefully remove the outer layer of the cable at both ends. This sheath is the main protection for the cable, ensuring durability and insulation against external interference. When you remove the cover, you will find the shield, a metal mesh that acts as a shield against noise and electromagnetic interference. Do not remove part of the shield, but keep about three centimeters to make it easier to attach the compression connector. Underneath the shield is the dielectric insulator, a material that separates the center conductor from the shield preventing short circuits and preserving signal integrity. Repeat this same process very carefully on both ends of the cable, ensuring that everything is properly prepared, firm, and well-adjusted for the next steps and connections. And remember, it is not mandatory to use exactly two meters of coaxial cable. You can use one meter or even a smaller length as long as it meets your needs and the space available for installation. Continuing with the assembly, Take the end of the enameled copper wire that was previously wrapped around the magnet and connected to the sieve, and solder it to the point where the coaxial connector was joined to the antenna. Make sure that the solder is firm and well done, as this contact will be responsible for transmitting the signal captured by the antenna to the coaxial cable. Now carefully position a washer followed by a nut in the indicated location. Using pliers, begin to screw the nut until it rests firmly on the surface. Then, continue tightening firmly, ensuring that all components are well fixed, secure, and without any slack that could compromise the stability or functioning of the assembly. Apply a small solder point to some part of the sieve, joining it to the other end of the remaining enameled copper wire. As you near the end of the project, use a piece of wood with a central slit made with a saw to serve as the base for your antenna. Fit the handle of the stainless steel sieve into the opening, positioning it vertically, with the sieve part facing upwards. To ensure that the support remains firm, strong, and stable, use a good quality hot glue stick, applying a generous amount around the entire base of the structure. Press down firmly while the glue is still hot, ensuring an efficient and long-lasting fixation. This care is essential to prevent any part from coming loose over time, especially because the magnet used has a considerable weight and can end up destabilizing the assembly if it is not properly fixed. Finally, connect the coaxial cable to the back of the screen, securing the connector and screwing the cable into place for a secure fit. Near the connected end, use pliers to make a small bend in the coaxial cable, creating a curve that will allow you to attach it to the wooden base. To attach the cable to the wood, use a clamp and two screws, using the drill to ensure that everything is well secured and organized. Now that the assembly is complete, you can adjust the size of the telescopic antenna, extending it almost to its limit to further expand the signal reception area. The next step is to connect the coaxial cable to the antenna input on your TV. Once everything is ready, simply start searching for digital channels available in your area. The result is impressive. The antenna, made from simple everyday objects, can capture a huge variety of channels bringing image and sound quality directly to your television. If you are not yet a subscriber, take this opportunity to join our community. Sign up now and stay up to date with all the news, tips, and exclusive content we have prepared for you. This way, you will not miss any new videos, 
and you will also help us to grow and bring you more and more quality information. Don't waste time, click the subscribe button and be part of this journey with us. The most interesting thing about this project is realizing how creativity and the reuse of materials can bring innovative and effective solutions to everyday life. In addition to being functional, this antenna represents an economical and sustainable alternative, allowing you to watch the main television channels without relying on expensive equipment or professional installations. Imagine the satisfaction of showing this invention to your friends and neighbors, proving that it is possible to build something useful with what you have at home. This experience not only provides entertainment, but also stimulates creative thinking, manual skills, and the spirit of innovation. If you like this content, be sure to share it with your friends, family, neighbors, and even co-workers. Spread the word, encourage more people to get their hands dirty, and discover together how it is possible to transform simple, often forgotten objects into creative, useful, and economical solutions for everyday life. Thank you very much for following us so far.